Hello folks, this is Kevin Gilmore from Gilmore Brittany's, located just outside Boscobel, Wisconsin. We're trained American Brittany's for the past 25 years. Our weekly winners for the drawing of the hats from last week are JJ Grant and Thad Smith. Just PM me, tell me if you want the camouflage hat or the uh, orange one, and we'll gladly send it out to you right away. I want to talk to you a little bit about quail. Last week we talked about pigeons, and we're going to talk about a little bit again here. But uh, occasionally we insert a quail into our training because the dogs get bored with the pigeon, you know, two pigeons a day. that They get old. It's kind of like eating the same sandwich every day. And so when we put a quail in there, they kind of come liberated because they don't always go back to the recall pen. And so they, they wander around here. They, they, they look for corn and scraps and that. They're, they're not really looking for seeds out in the field. And so I've got a little short video I'm going to show you some quail pretty close to the dog kennel. Shows them picking up, picking up food and just kind of shows you what it's, what it's like because when they hang around like that too, the hawks and the owls and everything else once in a while pick them off. It's just one day you just don't see them anymore where you're used to seeing them there every day when you're doing all your other chores. <laughs> All right, you know, another benefit of the pigeons is, is, is a homing pigeon. And it's kind of a bird that's underrated, I think, as far as bird dog training. But the beautiful thing about a homing pigeon is that once you get it trained to come back to your coop, it'll fly back, you know, you know just about great distances, you know, several hundred miles if you wanted. And I think that a lot of people underestimate that. But that bird, if he's trained, he beats you back home, home and finding their way there. And so I've got a couple of little short videos to show you of some homing pigeons that we use here at Gilmore Brittany's. Okay, this is a homing pigeon. And this one particular one is banded and it's got a number on it. And with the number is the date you knew it was born in 19. And then I also have a the leg band has got uh, just a regular uh, regular count number on it. My name and phone number on it. That's an option, although. But anyway, the important thing is, is a homing pigeon will learn to fly around and come back to the coop that it was born in or put in as a squeaker. And so, the important thing is that it goes through the one-way door and it can't get back out. And it goes in there because it knows that's home, there's food, there's water, and there's everything in there. But once you acclimate them to the environment around you, then you can start to go a little further out. First you go like a half a mile away, and then you catch them and you go a mile away, and you go keep going a little further and a little further, and it isn't soon you can start training dogs miles away from home, and the birds will almost beat you home. And this is how that one-way door works. And that's it. That's what there is to homing pigeons. I want to remind you that when we get up to 5,000 followers, we're going to do a drawing and we're going to give somebody a nice Brittany pup and then they're going to be able to bring it back the following spring and we're going to train it for free. And so that's like a $2,500 value. They won't have a dime in it. And so when we get to 5,000 followers, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a drawing for that too. We'll just one day we're just going to say we're going to do that drawing and we'll do it. So we want you to like us and follow us on Facebook and, uh, Go to our website, GilmoreBritneys.com, and we also have a YouTube channel. But uh, I want everybody to think about what they did this week as far as to help the sporting dog industry continue. You know, did you offer to take the neighbor kid to hunter safety? Did you mentor a hunt? Did you, you know, offer to teach somebody how to shoot a shotgun or, or a rifle or something? No matter what sport you're involved in, whether it's deer hunting, duck hunting, or upland bird hunting, we're all in this together and we've it's our responsibility to keep it going because we're all getting older and we need to get younger people involved. So I want you to ponder on that thought for the week. Thank you for watching us and hunt them up.